Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 max chapter 9 halves and quarters works and worksheet with answers. Um, already I have posted a video explaining this chapter with uh, solutions. If you have not gone through, you can just go through that video so that it will be very easy for you to understand this worksheet. First, we will see what is halves and quarters. Quarter. So, for an introduction level, I'll just tell you what is halves and quarters. So, this is a whole part. We are dividing the whole part into uh, two or three. So, this part, which is shaded, is half, one by two. So, if it is only one side shaded out of the four, only one is shaded, then it is quarter. Choose the correct one. So, 1 by 4. So, here which is the correct one? This is the correct one. 3 by 4. So, this is the correct one. 3 uh, three parts is shaded out of 4. So, 1 by 4. So, here this part is shaded. So, this is correct. Next again 1 by 4. Here this is correct. 2 by 4. So, out of two uh, 4 parts, 2 should be shaded. So, this is correct. 1 by 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, out of 4 parts, 1 is sh one should be shaded, so this is correct. 2 by 4, so this is correct. 2 parts are shaded out of 4 parts. So, 1 part in 4 parts, so this is correct. 2 divided by 4, so this is correct. So, choose the best answer. Next, we will see, shade the given figures according to the fraction. So, previously, uh, the fraction was given, we have shaded here, um, so previously uh, the shaded part is given we, uh, from the, see here, um, the fraction is given and shaded part is given, so we have chosen the correct one. Here the fraction is given and uh, we are going to shade the figure, so 1 by 3, so 3 parts, 1, 2, 3 out of which only one should be shaded. So, this part should be shaded. So, if this part is shaded, we can say that as a 1 by 3. 2 divided by 3. So, this part, two parts should be shaded. So, this is correct. 3 out of 8. So, three parts should be shaded. 1, 2, 3 should be shaded. 5 divided by 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, any 5 parts should be shaded to get 5 divided by 8. 10 divided by 24. So, 10 parts should be shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, any 10 parts needs to be shaded. So, these parts should be shaded. Next, fill in the numerals with fractions. First one is uh, done for you. So, 4 by 6. In this, whichever is on the, uh, which is below the line, that is called as numerator. See, you usually you will be writing like this, 4 divided 6. So, whichever is, number is written on the top, that is numerator. The number which is below is denominator. Similarly, for 3 by 8, 3 is numerator, 8 is denominator. 6 divided by 9, 6 is the numerator, 9 is the denominator. In 7 divided by 8, 7 is the numerator and 8 is the denominator. In 8 divided by 9, 8 is the numerator and 9 is the denominator. In 3 divided by 5, 3 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator. In 2 divided by 6, 2 is the numerator and 6 is the denominator. Next. Fill in the blanks. So, half of letter. So, half of a letter, we can say it as 1 letter equal to 1000 ml. So, half letter equal to 500 ml. So, the answer here is 500 ml. So, first we have to write the, uh, in terms of kilogram and gram. So, 3 by 4 of kilogram equal to dash of gram. So, you all know that 1 kilogram equal to 1000 gram. 
So, 3 by 4 of it is 750 gram. 750 gram. Next, 1 by 4 of liter equal to dash ml. So, we already know that 1 liter is 1000 ml. So, 1 by 4 of uh, liter is 250 ml. So, here the answer is 250 ml. 3 by 4 of liter is 750 ml. So, this is how you should write. Next, fraction is given. You have to write the numerator and denominator. So, whichever is in the first, that is numerator and uh, denominator, whichever is the, uh, the number which is below, the line is denominator. 2 divided by 4 is 2 numerator, 4 denominator. 3 divided by 4 is 3 uh, numerator, 4 denominator. 3 divided by 5 is 3 numerator and 5 denominator. 2 divided by 8 is 2 numerator and 8 is the denominator. So, this chapter worksheet ends here. Hope this video is useful and understanding. If you don't understand this uh, worksheet anywhere, uh, you can just go through the previous video for which I have posted for textbook solutions. And if you want to solve this as a test, you can just pass the video and uh, solve. Hope uh, this video is useful. Thanks for watching.